Hey guys, it's me again. And I'm coming to you with a purposeful video today. Not that, you know, when I record my videos, they're not purposeful, but um, I'm gonna try my best to stay on one topic today because I know I could be all over the place. And I do not do that on purpose. That's literally the way that my brain works. So right now I'm in my natural state. Like, I don't have nothing on besides some lip gloss. And that's it. But, um, this video is going to be about being and feeling free through my observation um so right now i'm sitting in front of the jasmine grill it's one of the places that i like to go to eat um because their food is fresh it's real and i love their the way they cook it's like a i don't know if it's an indian cuisine or um metro i don't really know i was gonna say metropolitan i forget which cuisine it is but it's really really clean it's like a very good like clean eating place um but that's not why i'm making this video i'm making this video because i am towards i'm getting towards the end where i am um closing a chapter in my life and i don't know if this was the hardest chapter that i will ever experience in my life but it was the hardest chapter so far like um and it was all up to me it was my decision it was all up to me like and i'm making this video because there are a lot of young girls or women out there who i don't know like i don't know what people's purposes are or what their circumstances are but I know that those two things are very important because based on your purpose you will realize how much you are willing or not willing to take in a certain situation and based on your circumstances it, it grants you certain access and having that flexibility to be able to make you know grass decisions um so to speak so um, I just got to pat myself. I like to pat myself on the shoulder because I really don't have people around me that, you know, my, my, uh, my tribe, my spiritual tribe that, you know, we really just talk and feed off each other's minds and spirits and energy. I don't have that around me anymore. So, um, I'm just learning to revisit certain conversations in my mind that we used to have built off memories and I just I go off that and I know my tribe is coming very soon I'm not in a rush I mean I think I'm meeting people day by day that I'm going to be working with and involved with but to anybody out there that's going through anything and I do mean anything that is not of you and it's taking a lot out of you to deal with it and you just want to be out of that situation and you can't leave it because the reasons the reasons only you know you know all i'm gonna say is pray and however you pray pray however you pray don't pray how you see people pray 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 however in what in in whatever way shape form or fashion that makes you feel like you're being your most authentic version of yourself to God. Cause that's what I do. Like I know getting on your knees is a is a is 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 um a given. Um but speaking from the heart, speaking from deep deep within, from your inner standing and lack of understanding, speaking from there is a is a beautiful place to speak from um <laughs> and i mean it makes me laugh because i've only been having conversations with god since i was a kid and i just want to give it up for the girls that actually have morals and and actually see something for themselves and will stick to that even when the path isn't the road to success isn't to their success isn't looking so clear 
I just want to commend those women, those types of girls, because it's not a lot of times where we stay on the same path and we keep going, we stay driven, we stay motivated. It's so easily to become distracted and to get off and complain and, you know, all the things of that nature. So, um, with that being said, you know, having your freedom back after not having it for so long and going through so many things with and not having it, sorry, his car is parked next to me leaving this lady being such a weirdo but um it does something to you um to whereas when you regain that freedom after having that understanding it kind of is like a pausing period where you just like you can do so many things but now you are more precautious and you're you you study you and you learn um, which you can like going without so much stuff in life, you know, that's, I feel like that's what prepared me for this journey because going up, like <laughs> I had to provide for myself, you know what I mean? And not that I'm bashing my parents in any kind of way because we weren't given much, but from a very young age, I learned that I had to take care of myself. So like. And you know, the things that I thought were important as a child, it really probably wasn't. I could have worn my hair. I could have, you know, not got my nails and stuff done and not like the things that I like as far as the fashion and the way I lived and everything. But it's your environment and it's also your circumstances. Like I said, your circumstances and your uh, goals, like what drives you your motivation those are they, they go hand in hand um and sometimes we get so worked up and overwhelmed because we're not in a certain place that we want to be in life but we know why we're not there we know that we're doing the best that we can do and it's it's solely based off of circumstance like you 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 know you have this desire in your heart and your mind to be at a certain place in your life sorry and to do certain things in your life but given given your situation you only can produce this much like and I remember as a child and even a teenager I would get like super frustrated that I couldn't do certain things that I knew I could do you know it was just where I lived or you know who I was hanging around or uh, the lack of motivation I had and actually producing because of my environment and my circumstances so once I learned that everything is not my fault or my doing or even other people's doing, life became so much easier for me. Like when you when you learn to stop blaming people, like I learned to take accountability really, really young. And because I knew that I had to take accountability, like I was very precise on how many mistakes I made. Like if I could avoid doing something, I would avoid doing it. Like I, I just was never one of those just because people like, <laughs> like having a mother that I had it wasn't even about like fear of getting a whooping or anything like that it was just to see the disappointment on her face like all this hard work she does to maintain her household and to make sure that we have the things that we need and you know just to be somebody to look up to and admire especially on my end I felt like my job as a daughter as a child but especially you know her only daughter was to go far and to do my best in everything like not to kid around or joke about joke around or play with nothing so i really believe that's what made me so compassionate such a compassionate person in whatever i do and if i know that my compassion isn't strong in a certain situation based off my circumstance i will not attest to it i will not proceed to do it because i know that um I'm, I'm not gonna produce my best so i always had this vision and i swear to you like it could bring tears to my eyes because i'm i tell you no lie i would have this vision all the time and i at first i thought it was a dream but then i started like seeing things at, at throughout the day as i was awake and i'm like yeah this is not like a dream like dreams are real 
but like when you have visions and like manifestation like not manifestations uh, premonitions of certain things and it's like a quick glimpse of what you can see like but you see it and you feel it you could feel it so much to, to the point where and i'm really not trying to be weird but i can never talk about these things with my family because i just felt like they had it too or they knew what i was talking about but everybody was always so afraid but i was the one that you know i was the curious and you know they say curiosity kills the cat but i don't believe that it really kills the cat for long you may be out down for the count but cats have nine lives maybe more but i would have these vid these visions and premonitions and like things would really be guiding me you know and i would meet people like like that were that i grew up with or that i watched grew up i will meet them again i will see their face on another person's body who was alive and i it would they would always say something to me or i would say something to them that make them feel like we've met before you know they'll say or i'll start crying because they look just like the person but um and that's how i know my my uh my gifts were getting stronger with the universe the god my god and everything and I would just like be so like emotional because he chose me. Like I always say like, why God choose me? Like, why? Like, who am I? Like that was always a question that I, a question that I asked my parents from when I was really, really young was who, who, what, who I was. Like I wanted to know who I was. Cause it's like, I would just know things and I would see things and nobody would tell me. And my mother would just be so like afraid of me. It was so crazy. But um, not trying to get our point. This all has something to do. I think I'm doing a great job. Um, I envision, like I used to pray to God. I was, my grandma and Nana used to always tell me like, when you pray, you gotta be specific about what you want. And you gotta know that you gotta believe it through and through and you can't have a doubt within your mind and it's yours. And at first, like when I was younger, cause my grandmother was a heavily, heavily heavily devoted christian you know and in my older years as an adult i I learned about her past but i never judged her for it because my nana was just like so beautiful like she was so beautiful like i just loved her aura and things that she said she had her holy oil sometimes when i would just cry and just cry and just cry about my life being so mad i was so dramatic as a kid and i don't think much has changed with me being an adult but i remember i would cry and i would cry and she would just get the holy oil and just put it on my forehead and just squeeze my hands her hands were so soft she always smelled so good and she was so womanly and she was always so into her skin and makeup beauty wigs and just um romantic um, movies and we used to watch everything audrey hepburn and just that's where i learned to be girly at my nana's house like this lady literally taught me like she is the embodiment inside of me it's just it's just so crazy uh, a moment for my nana i used to sleep in the bed with my grandmother my nana as an adult i would come to her house and get in the bed with her and we would just watch movies like i just love my grandmother like a lot of people didn't have the privilege to even live with their grandparents as long as I did. They don't even know. So I know I lost them at a young age and I lost my mother and them. But I'm telling you, the moments that I've shared, the memories, I realized that's why I, I didn't pursue the things that I wanted to pursue. And I find a lot of happiness there when I start to think like that. And I'm not just being in a hurt space. Yeah, I dog barking. Quiet dog. It's probably London. Oh God. But this is just a start. I'm in the process of uploading a video I did a couple days ago. All these cars are coming. Like every time I come somewhere, people just start coming to the same place and it just gets so flooded. That's why I don't even know why I decided to even do this video before I went in this place. Should have did it afterwards so I could have pulled off and left. But yeah, um, I'm gonna be posting more. I'm gonna be letting you guys see me like and my state, my hair is natural right now. Um, I really don't know how to do my natural hair. Like, all my life, like, I've always wore, like, sew-ins and weaves and not really. Well, I had a lot of braids, too, like, when I was younger. But I never learned, like, my own hair pattern. 
I never learned to like have the importance of like washing your hair and conditioning your hair and oiling your hair and treating it and just loving it the way you are supposed to do to every other part of your body. Like I would just be so used to be like having it done in a style to the point where, you know, like that's, that's all it was for us. Like, well, for me it was to just have my hair done. So now I'm in a state as an adult, my own place. I'm going through the last part of my hiccups of, of, of a very traumatic and high level intensity situation in a relationship that I was in. And I'm just feeling and becoming more and more at peace, you know? And this is not to throw shade or even bash my, my ex partner because, you know, there's there was a lot of love there, especially on my end. But when I started to use my logic and now I'm getting off track, when I started to use, but it still has something to do with what I was talking about. When I started to use my logic and, you know, just realized that I was just unhappy and there was nothing that could change the situation because I wasn't going to change my ways of who I was and they weren't going to change who they were, even if they tried. And, and, and that's what made me so sad and me because they actually tried. But it's just, you know, when you get to a point where you've suffered, when you've endured so much, enough is enough. And it doesn't even matter that things are getting good. Like the good that was left in you, the hopes that you had left in you is left, is it, it has left you and you just don't have it in you no more. And some people will say that, you know, love never gives up, love never dies. It's true, love never dies. My love is, is I have an undying love, but I also have a stronger love and a compassion for my love, for my life in Christ Jesus. Like, and I just realized that this relationship that I was in, it was costing me too much. And when I say costing me too much, it was costing me too much of my energy. It was costing me too much time away from my family. It was costing me too much time away from things I like to do. It was costing me too much, too much. Like people think that the most important thing in the world is money. But what is it to gain everything and have to gain the world and have no one to share it with? However that saying goes, um, I know and I always knew that I was spiritually rich. That's why Kendrick Lamar's song, Spiritually Rich. Anybody that I meet that talks about the soul, like they're a special person to me. But Rich Spirit, that's one of my favorite songs because that's me. Like I grew up so, I, I grew up like an Asian person from, from the Chinese movies. We had very, very little, but the power of black people, we know how to stretch nothing and turn it into something. So I just, I've always been strong there, but I never really had the opportunity to produce money and spend it on me. Like I used to work three jobs and, you know, people in my family would have hardships, immediate family. And I would always be the one that they called on, especially like when my mom got sick or if they didn't call on me, they would call on my mother who would call on me. You know, it was just crazy. So I lived in a lot of chaos, like day in, day out. And like, I just never had the peace to, to formulate, to, to produce something. And a lot of people took that as me being lazy. Like a lot of people who are not spiritually awakened and they are not woke, like they, I know a lot of people think that they're woke, but you know, just cause somebody have a business and it's flourishing to them or they're whatever you think is flourishing. That doesn't mean that they're woke. Like, you know, they probably haven't even tapped to the greatest version of themselves. They just like mirror at the mirror surface and they're content with that. But see me, I like to dive deep and I don't want to just produce something. I want to produce the best. So in order to do that, you have to reverse it. Don't worry about the outside appearance. It, it shit gonna get ugly before it get be beautiful. <laughs> like that's always, and that's, that's what I knew I had to do in this situation. Like I had to just let everything fall apart and shatter and I couldn't walk away from it. I couldn't run. I had to sit there and I did. And I've learned so many things about myself. You know, I've learned the the pettiness about myself and I learned the unhealed version of myself. And I've learned, like I really, I, I, I was reintroduced to, many ver to the many versions of my unhealed self. And I just cried, like, you know, I did some strong crying. I did some strong praying. I did some meditation. I learned my superpowers in this situation. Uh, and I don't mean to be clapping my hands and all of that, but like, 
I've always felt like I was complete and I just knew what I needed to know. But this situation has, it just opened my mind to so much more. And I know there's so much more information that I am to accumulate. Like I am a bookworm. Like I just love smart people. Like I just love weird people. And I just love people who love my weird. And I love them for loving me and not like categorizing me and just knowing that I'm different and that it's beautiful. So um, I'm not gonna talk to you any much for longer because I'm getting hungry and dehydrated. But just stay tuned because with me learning all of that thing, those things about myself, it prepared me to do the things that I am doing right now. And I'll talk about that in another video. Um, thank you guys for watching. I just wanted to vlog and record this moment because so many moments have surpassed me and went by as to where I cannot get them back and I cannot look back at it to see like how far I've come. And I've always been that way as a child. Like I've always liked to record or write things down or take a picture to capture the moment because you know, we're smart people, we're smart people and we're light beings, but we, we can't remember and hold on to everything. And one of the things that I like about my experiences are the vividness of how they happen and be able to feel that moment again through watching it, seeing it, hearing it, or feeling it. But never to say less, thank you guys for watching. If you made it this far, thank you for watching my video because I know I'm a talking chatterbug like subscribe and things are only going to get greater from this point god bless you and anyone around you and may your blessings run so high they fill up fill it up your cup and runneth over and leaks and bleeds oh, can't even get it out and bleeds on to those who are around you love you and support you be blessed stay blessed bye bye